Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back on day 14 of the 31 Days of Horror. And obviously, I'm discussing Halloween Ends. Spoiler free. I'll say it again, there will be no spoilers in this video. As a matter of fact, I won't even be giving a synopsis. I can't. Not for this film. Halloween Ends has officially been released, and wow, is it already divisive among fans. People already hate it. They're ranking it last in their franchise rankings. Some are even saying... Halloween Resurrection and Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, which we all know are very hated among Halloween fans, are much better than Halloween Ends. I watched Halloween Ends with my son, and we did not hate it. I'd say it was an epic finale to this new trilogy, but it's very, very different. With the exception of Halloween 3, it's easily the most different in the series. In the same vein, it's also the most surprising. It's going to be a case of people not getting the movie they expected and the movie they want. It makes a very bold choice and fully commits. The filmmaker said Halloween Ends would take heavy inspiration from another John Carpenter classic, but I won't say which because I don't want to spoil anything. Since that's what they were going for, I can assure you they succeeded. Halloween Ends felt more like a sequel or remake of that movie than it does a Halloween film. When the movie ended, my son even said it felt like we didn't even watch Halloween Ends. It was just so different. But we loved it. The opening scene had us both saying, wow, out loud. When you watch Halloween Ends, be sure to pay attention to the opening credits, specifically the font used. The movie has a great Halloween atmosphere throughout, the kills are pretty amazing, and some are unique, just like the movie. And the ending just might blow your mind. I really loved the soundtrack of Halloween Ends, and not just the scores either. When the closing credits began, the song selection was perfect. I'll also say this, there may be those who dislike Halloween Ends, but end up appreciating Halloween Kills more than they do now. I'll leave it at that. I've said too much already. I won't say any more about this now, because even just the littlest bit of information is too much. It's best to watch Halloween Ends not knowing what to expect. I can understand why it's divisive, but I personally am all in on this one. It'll be interesting to see where I place it in my ranking, which will inevitably be coming down the line. Have you seen Halloween Ends yet? If so, what did you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.